Hello, my name is Anne, and welcome to a Toby Knits episode number 109. So what is Toby Knits? Okay, if you're new here, then welcome. Um, Mondays I talk about knitting, Wednesdays I talk about cross stitch, and Fridays I talk about quilting. These are all my three favorite crafts. Well, besides scrapbooking, journaling, crochet, cooking, you know, all that kind of stuff. Um, I'm retired, so I am leading a crafty life. Um, I live outside of Ottawa, although I am from Liverpool, England. Been here a long, long time now. And uh, yes, my team played on Saturday and lost in the Champions League. So I was a little bit sad today, you know, as you are. But anyway, we'll bounce back. We won two cups this year. Anyway, um, so let's get started. Grab a cup of tea, get comfy. Because all my returning viewers know this can go on a bit of a while. Although I do try to keep it under 20 minutes. I am getting better at it. So let's get talking about the knitting. So I have three projects to show you because each week on Tuesdays, Thursdays and Saturdays, I knit in the evening. And so what I knit on on a Tuesday evening are one of two things. <clears throat> It's either the mitered square blanket, and I did do a square, but it was just white, and I thought, I'm not going to bother showing you that, or the triangulum, and this is the triangulum blanket. The pattern is by Ellie Jones of Craft House Magic. She brought this out last winter for her um, Advent knit along, but I loved the pattern. I didn't get that yarn. Um, but I do get her monthly mixtape minis. So this was the Monday of the Monday, <laughs> the January. This was the January uh, colors. These were the February colors, the March colors, the April colors. And I've just started the second row with two of the may colors um so you can see what they are they're really super cute i love them um so what i am doing is i'm taking from the minis i'm using every scrap of my minis i'm taking one square or one skein and i'm putting a square in the mitered blanket square blanket a triangle in here and although sometimes i have to put two because there's only five colors and there are six triangles in this block, these blocks. So I do have to put two of those same colors in. And I'm separating these blankets and the mitered square blankets with white, because I love white. Then I'm also using what's left to go in either socks or some other small project. So January's and February's, I made a pair of two pair, a sock, pair of socks each, both ankle socks. Um, so you can see I've started on this block, and I had a great suggestion by somebody to start underneath to stagger these colors each month. So this is the start of the next month. So the, it's really hard to show you this. Maybe if I stand up. Um, I'll go round like this for these colors and this will be the white here and I don't know what I'll do for the ends yet. So I don't know, I might get one, two, three. Oh, I should still get four. No, one, two, no, I'm only gonna get three in that row because they'll each one will start under the first triangle. So that's my Tuesday night knit. Then on Thursday nights, again, from the leftover of the March and maybe April, I am working on the Owl Cow from Ellie Jones. No, not from Ellie Jones, from Kay Jones of the Bakery Bears, and they're not related. And this is what the Owl Cow looks like. This is a free pattern, so go grab it. 
very simple easy it's just ba basically stock and stitch in a couple of rows of pearl it's very easy and it's lovely tv knitting and so here is let me just organize the yarn so far what i have got so i'm using purple as my in-between color i was going to originally use the brown but i do absolutely love purple and so I'm using the purple. That's obviously just your rib. Knit three pearl, three rib. It's a big rib. And then we've got this lovely, it's hard to see the design on the needles because it's all quite small. If I can open it up, you'll see it's almost like eyes holes, which is why she called it the owl cowl. And each, so it's the same Everything is the same now. You just do the same amount of stocking stitch. Then you switch and do some double decreases and stuff and a purl row. And then you're back to the plain stocking stitch. So you can see um, I'm using the leftovers of the minis. So this, I dropped it. <laughs> So this is the leftover of that 20 gram ball in there. I'm still gonna have some leftover. So then what I'm doing with any that's leftover, um, which isn't always a lot, I am putting them into a big magic knot ball. So come um, December, when most people put out their mini advent knits, I'm gonna use that and see what we get. I think that'd be awesome. And then Saturday's knit is the flax sweater that I am making for my grandson, Tristan. I am making a size three, four, I think he's two. So it's for this winter for him. I have one exactly the same in exactly the same color. So Nana and Tristan will match. And so look, I actually got the whole body finished. Yay! Isn't it cute? So this is the body and it's just the same on the front or the back. It's just plain, a lot of stock and stitch. And down the sleeves, which I will be starting this coming Saturday, it's like a garter. It's almost like uh, the underneath of the arm is just the stockinette. It's, but there's so many stitches across the top are just garter stitch and it's so, cozy I love it so Tristan and I will be matching and for this um typically a lot of the yarn I buy is like hand dyed and it can be quite expensive and I didn't want to buy a hand dyed for this so I went to Walmart and I got this and this is all it is it's the Brene premium yarn I made my sweater ever this with three of these three of these to make my full big sweater and I had enough left over for this, <laughs> of those three three big yarns. I had to buy this one because I need it now for the sleeves. So Leo may get one the same too. <laughs> we'll all be matchies. So yeah, so that's what I've done today for you. No, I haven't done that today. That's what I've got for you today to show you what I've done this week. <sighs> It's going to be a really hectic couple of weeks coming up. I'm not sure how many videos I'm going to get done. Um, I might have to take a little break. Reason being, my son and daughter-in-law and baby Leo are coming on Friday from Nova Scotia for two weeks. And it's just going to be a bit chaotic with them in the house plus their dog because they're bringing one of their dogs. And my Toby, as you know, my little Yorkie, and probably still have Tristan the odd day because my other son's wife is about to go into labor any minute now. In fact, I'm waiting for Tristan now. We're having a sleepover tonight with him. So it, I, I'm just giving you a heads up. They may not be as frequent um, as they normally are. <laughs> so just bear with me and wait and see what you get. <laughs> okay, gotta go.